Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn a very important topic of cumulative frequency. So before moving towards that how we can find the cumulative frequency if we are given with the frequency of any score or it depends the frequency could be of anything. So before moving towards that we must have the concept regarding what is cumulative frequency. So usually it is defined as collection of previous frequencies together. This is a very simple definition. If we try to understand this de definition, so it becomes sometimes sometimes difficult that how the collection of previous frequencies to together. So I want to um, explain it in a, in a bit easier way. It should be like it should be rather than collection, we can say addition. Addition. I'm putting the sign of plus. Addition of frequencies. F is for frequencies equal to and less than the given frequency. It means if you are going to find the cumulative frequency from a table containing 1, 2, 3, 4 and you have to find the cumulative frequency of 3, then what you have to do is you have to add the frequencies, which one equal to, that is 3, the frequency of 3, 2 and 1. It means the frequencies that are, e that is equal to the frequency at 3 and then 2 at and then at 1. So, the frequency at 3 will be the sum of all these three levels. So, it will be better to define it like this. So, we will prefer it as 1 plus 2 plus 3 refers to the cumulative frequency. At what? At 3. At. But when it comes to the cumulative frequency at 2, it will become 1 plus 2 that is the cumulative frequency. So, it means the cumulative frequency should be the sum of the frequency of that score or you can say the frequency itself plus the frequencies below it. So, this is the basic concept behind cumulative frequency. Now, another important thing I will tell you at the end of this lecture that why do we use cumulative frequency. But before that, I will uh, prefer to uh, tell you how you can find the cumulative frequencies if you are given with the multiple frequencies. So, let us have a table. So, here we have a table in which the first column is representing the score in a test of the students. That is the score can, uh, uh, was 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And there is no 1 or 0 score take, uh, uh, that is attained by any student. Then we have the frequency. Frequency is the number of students who got this 10 in a, uh, who got 10 marks in the, uh, in the test are 2. Number of students who got 9 marks is 2. The number of students who got 8 marks is 5. And number of seven who uh, number of students who got seven marks are three and so on. So first two columns are representing the frequency distribution table. So frequency distribution table consists of the score and frequency. Now the new thing in here is the cumulative frequency. So how we can find the cumulative frequency? So we will apply the same formula of plus frequency that uh, plus all the frequencies that are equal to and less than the given frequency. So, we will start from the bottom. Keep one thing in, in your mind that the data should be arranged in an ordered manner so that it becomes easier for you to find the cumulative frequency. So, how we can do this? First of all, we start from the bottom. We can also start from the top but it is easier to start from the bottom. In the bottom, we will see the frequency. Keep this in mind when say the lowest frequency or the lowest value in the column is placed as it is in the cumulative frequency. Why? Let's see. So here I have written one because this is this frequency will be considered same. This is because of the reason there is no frequency that lie below this value that needs to be added in this frequency. You got it? So if there is no frequency below it, it means there are zero. So one plus zero is zero. Then we move towards the second last that is zero. Here zero means score of three is not attained by any student. So the next frequency that is the cumulative frequency of the second last uh, row that is the score of 3 will be found by how you have to if I use a different color you have to move like this and you have to add this frequency to the 0 that is the cumulative frequency of the previous level will be added to the frequency of the next level that is here the cumulative frequency was 1 and the frequency was 0 so, it will become 1 plus 0. So, I will write here 1 plus 0 equals to 1. So, this is the one way. You can also do what you can. You have to just add all the previous frequencies together. 
So zero plus one, you can also add them together to get the frequency, cumulative frequency of that level. So this is how one plus zero is goes to one. Now to, let's move towards the uh, score four and the frequency four. For this, the uh, cumulative frequency will be the sum of all these frequencies, or you can also say. The sum of of the cumulative frequency and the frequency itself. So it both in both the ways you will get five. So it will be four plus one equals to five. Then we move towards the next level that is the score of five and the frequency is one. Here again the frequency will be the sum of all the frequencies below it, including itself. So another method is we can add the previous cumulative frequency to the frequency. That is we can add these two. That is five plus one. It will become five plus one equals to six. Similarly, for the next level, we will add the previous cumulative frequency and the current frequency. So seven plus six, seven plus six equals to thirteen. Then we move towards the next level. It will be thirteen plus three equals to one six. Then like this, sixteen plus five equals to twenty one. Then here, twenty one plus two equals to twenty three. And lastly, the top frequency uh, uh, row will be the sum of all the frequency in the frequency uh, column. So the sum of all frequencies will be twenty three plus two equals to twenty five. So this is how you can calculate the cumulative frequency when. Uh, you are given with the frequency. So for finding the cumulative frequency, you should have the frequency. So this is the basic idea behind this. Now the important thing is, what is the need of the cumulative frequency? Purpose here is, if a student asks you as a teacher, uh, you have to answer the student that how many students in the class had lower scores than mine, then how you will answer it correctly or quickly. So for that purpose, you have to use the cumulative frequency. But how? Let's suppose uh, if a student had a score of seven. So if I write here, student's score was seven. Yeah, and he wants to know that how many students had lower scores than him or her. Then how you will do that? You will go to the level less than that level, less than that uh, the score that is that falls less than that score. For example, the score below seven is six. And if it is not, then it could be the five. It depends. So here, the score that uh, that lies below seven is six. And then you have to check its what cumulative frequency. That is thirteen. So it means the students who have got score less than seven are thirteen. Thirteen students. So this is the purpose of the. Cumulative frequency that you can easily answer or you can easily check how many students fall below a certain level of score. For example, another if we, we can take another example, students who have got the score of four asking, if I write here in the, in a way, if a student who have got a score of four, and he is asking how many students have the score scores lower than him, then you can easily check as by going. To the level below four, that is three, and C. What is the cumulative frequency of that level? So the cumulative frequency of that level is one, which means there is only one student who have got a score less than four. So this is how cumulative frequency is helpful in finding the scores that are below than a certain uh, reference level uh, for the understanding of the students, or for the understanding of the uh, of the Uh, parents as well so that's all from today's lecture in the next lecture we will see the relative frequency thank you